all those hands, arms, legs, and feet inside the boat. And please supervise your children so our story doesn't take any unexpected turns. Now, most people travel to Enchanted World through the pages of a book. But for those of us that visit it in person, whether through a rabbit hole with some pixie dust or even through a giant whale, oftentimes find the way in to be magical or even a little bit menacing. Not to worry though, although it seems like we're passing through the jaws of Monstro, the same giant whale that swallowed Pinocchio, we're really being transported into a magical place called Storybook Land. our story is going to begin with a once upon a time but in this case it's the cave coming up on our left hand side of the big bad wolf now he's always chasing after the three little pigs who luckily live all the way on the other side of the canal one lives in a house of straw one in a house of sticks and one lives in a house of a hundred percent wolf proof bricks oh that's so cute <laughs> Then our story takes a strange turn because just around the corner coming up on our left hand side is the quaint English village that's home to Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Now one golden afternoon she followed the white rabbit and fell all the way down, down, down into Wonderland where things only became curiouser and curiouser from there. In fact, storybook lands filled with such enchanted places, places like London Park over which Peter Pan, Michael, John, and Wendy flew, with the help awesome. of Tinkerbell's pixie dust on their way to Neverland where they never ever had to grow up. And there's places like Agrabah, a city of mystery and enchantment, where a street rat named Aladdin first bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. Now, although the two are from different worlds, with the power of love and with the help of a genie, they were married and they live in the Sultan's palace of Tokyo. archways above us, the same ones that Aladdin and Jasmine flew over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride into a whole new world. Now all good stories have their love and light, but they also have their dark places as well. Places of mystery like the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Now its treasure bears a curse that can only be lifted by the genie of the lamp, and legend has it that whoever sets the genie free will be granted three wishes. Now it's also said if you make a wish in this cave, it just might come true. Now we know that Snow White wished for a safe place when she fled the evil queen and came upon the cozy forest cottage to our right hand side. It's home to the seven dwarves who offered her shelter and thanks for her kindness. Now we might be able to see their mind or even hear them whistle while they work. And if we turn the page to our left hand side, the Blue Rue Chateau is where Cinderella grew up with her wicked stepmother and stepsisters. Oh, there's like a little now wishes are a powerful part of every story, just like Cinderella's wish to go to the ball. Her fairy godmother granted that wish, but when she didn't return by midnight, her coach turned back into a pumpkin where it still lies on that bridge today. Now, although magic has its limits, luckily love does not, and Cinderella now lives happily ever after with her Prince Charming. Now, dreams can come true, and like wishes, they inspire our stories here. Some are dreams of happily ever after, while others are drifting off to sleep on hills of quilted flowers, like the ones on our left-hand side, inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon, Lullaby Land. Now, there's magic everywhere here in Storybook Land, even in all the miniature plants that are all completely real and will never grow up, thanks to the enchantment of Tinkerbell. That's just part of what made this place so special to master storyteller Walt Disney, and it continues to inspire new stories today. Some of these stories like that of the wind in the willows with Bowley Rat and Mr. Toad, who's daily managed coming up on our left-hand side. 
But it doesn't look like anyone's home today. He must have taken his motor car out on a wild ride headed nowhere in particular. Or there's stories of magic like that of Airedale beneath the snowy mountains just ahead. Although Elsa fled to the ice palace atop the fjord, her sister Anna just couldn't let her go. That act of true love saved them both, showing that family can weather even the harshest of snowstorms, and letting her ask once again, do you want to build a snowman? Or well, there's the Alpine Village to our right, where a woodcarver named Geppetto first wished upon a star for his puppet to become a real boy. It wasn't until after Pinocchio saved her from the belly of Monster the Whale that the Blue Fairy granted that very wish. And wishes like Geppetto's are found in so many fairy tales, like the one of the little mermaid named Ariel, who followed Prince Eric to the castle on our right. One that inspired her to give up her life under the sea, take her first test on unsteady legs, and fulfill her dream of becoming a part of our world. Hers is a story that begins in the shadow of her father, King Triad, in the underwater city of Atlantis and to our left, which spills out into adventures that end like all good stories do, with a happily ever after.